Let's go and see. So in this example, remember guys, I mentioned write the graph, parent graph first. So we got the parent graph, right? We did the parent graph. Has the right x, y intercept, or x intercept, we're good. Graphed it, perfect. Now, let's go and take a look at the transformations. This transformation tells us to shift the graph over where? Four units to the right. So I'm literally, I'll just take the y-intercept, move that over four units. One, two, three, four. Then minus three tells me to shift the graph where? Up, uh, up to, I mean, down. down three. So one, two, three. So literally, ladies and gentlemen, all I'm doing is I'm taking this point and I'm moving it to there. Now, when you're graphing, the main important thing, especially with exponential functions, whenever you're shifting up or down, you guys got to remember, there's this asymptote that's right there, right? That graph approaches that asymptote. So if I'm shifting down three, one, two, three, guess what's also there? You have to shift the horizontal asymptote as well, OK? Because there's an asymptote here. So if you're shifting down three, you got to shift down the asymptote, which is where the graph approaches. Now, all I'm going to do is redraw this graph. These points are exactly the same. So my graph's going to look something like this. It's the same graph, just shifted over four units, down three units. No, I mean, you can move these points. Move this, you know. What three? This three? Yeah. No, remember what this did. Remember the difference between this three? What the three did is that just gave us a sharper curve, right? Where the two didn't give us as sharp as a curve, right? So that really, that doesn't affect your transformations. That just kind of affects the sharpness of your curve. I know, but like, OK, so like you went four to the right and then three down, right? Yes, this is not a transformation. That okay, is. So you basically forget about that, right? Yeah, basically. Okay, okay. Because I reflected it, because it was negative. So every time there's a negative, you reflect it. When there's a negative in front, mm -hmm. when there's a negative in front, hold on one second. Right. When there's a negative in front, a is less than zero, that reflects over the x axis. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you.